Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the last method of preparation of haloalkanes via halogen exchange method. So here, what we do is we essentially react a alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide with sodium iodide in acetone. NaI in acetone says that the final product obtained is an alkyl iodide. So an important thing to note here is that this is an equilibrium reaction, and let's try to understand this by taking an example. So if we have C2H5Cl, that is ethyl chloride reacting with sodium iodide in acetone, the products that we are getting is nothing but ethyl iodide and NaCl. Since it's an equilibrium reaction, what can happen is that Cl minus can attack the C2H5I, this ethyl iodide, and give us ethyl chloride and NaI as the byproducts as well. So since it's an equilibrium reaction, how do we essentially drive it in the forward direction so as to obtain alkyl iodide as the final product? So here we use the concept of solubility differences. We know that NaI, sodium iodide, is soluble in acetone. However, the byproducts of this reaction, that is NaCl and NaBr, are not soluble in acetone, and they precipitate out of the reaction mixture. Since they precipitate out, we can easily remove them from the mixture and help help this uh, reaction go in the forward direction. So this is how we can obtain alkyl iodide from alkyl chlorides and alkyl bromides via halogen exchange method know that this the name of this reaction is nothing but finkelstein reaction there is also one more name reaction which exploits the concept of halogen exchange method essentially to help us prepare alkyl fluorides so in this particular reaction what we do is we react alkyl bromides or alkyl chloride with fluorinating agents like agf sbf3 hg2f2 and cof2 so in this case the final product that we get is nothing but an alkyl fluoride and the corresponding by product i hope you are very clear on how to uh, prepare alkyl halides using halogen exchange method as discussed here thank you